Welcome back, we're down in our large greenhouse. We're sitting about 65-ish degrees out here right now. Sitting at 65 degrees Fahrenheit is great because we had zero degrees overnight and we are achieving a high of 20 degrees with sun today and our negative temperatures have broken we no longer have our negative temperatures that we're dealing with so we've got teens at night and 20s to 30s during the day for the next foreseeable future on our weather and that being said i'm looking towards spring i built this little contraption here i want to talk about that we're using our compost to heat up this little DIY makeshift seed sprouting box. I've got my compost here. It's sitting about 100 degrees. It was about 110. I had uncovered the pile and stuck this compost thermometer in there in order to see what kind of temps we had. And that is a great amount of heat. If we're getting good temps, I wanna cover this back up because I do not want to let all of that heat expel into the greenhouse. We're sitting plenty warm in here. I ended up switching up our little fans. I took out our high powered fan in our large solar system and swapped it for our little five watt and five watt solar panel fan. This is running perfectly because it's slowly passively pushing the air. It's not pushing the air too fast like our high powered fan was. That would be better for a circulation type system as opposed to passively heating air and slowly pushing it out. And what we're doing is pushing all of our air through this pipe and through the tube right in here. And this is connected into our seat, little seed tray, our little seed sprouting box here. It is just a makeshift contraption I've put together with some old recycled poly that was for the kit that went over this greenhouse, but I wasn't gonna use it because this material does not hold up in the cold, but it came with little windows. You can see inside there, we've got some sprouts. I'm gonna unzip this. I wanna show everybody how I put this together. I use this recycled greenhouse poly because it came with a zipper. I wanted to use this to be able to unzip the basically the entire middle of this thing and be able to open it now i made slots and trays these are recycled pallets let's check this out so this is our recycled pallet greenhouse sprouting box i just put some boards in here and leveled them all up we've got some of our kale sprouting got some of our tat soy in here some of our red vein sorrel coming up got some of our heading collards in there just a little bit of everything coming up and this is sitting about 70 72 degrees constantly this is a perfect temperature and i can keep this ventilated by keeping this little screen window here this little window stays open and allows that heat to passively kind of push out and heat our greenhouse up from all the heat we're putting off of our compost so we've got our little tube right there that is blowing hot air into this entire space so we've got all these rocks and bricks just sitting in here basically creating a nice heat sink we've been holding some really good temps in this little box here and we've got a lot of sprouts coming up and i want to get a lot more coming up and i kind of built this so i was able to just slide these right out and slide them right back in and i'm able to fit a couple trays per level so we're able to get quite a bit of stuff into this little box and it is just built out of pallets you can see how i Put all this together just trying to show how this is built because once i got this little poly on you can't really tell what's going on i had all the excess just bunched up over by our compost we've got our little door to open this up and pretty well get access to the entire thing so this is what it looks like we've got all of our bricks down below catching heat from the sun and holding heat from our compost Peeled that off just so I could show the design a little bit better and how we've got all these situated row by row all the way down to the bottom and we're able to just slide everything right out. These pallets fit perfectly so we were able to just slide our trays right in, right out. Absolutely awesome. This was a good little build out of some free recycled material. So everything in this build was absolutely free. This poly I had already paid for long ago and I never used it. So it was just a recycled material that I wanted to use for something like this. We just used some down in our little greenhouse to build a nice 45 degree angle 
roll down tarp that covers one of our beds and it's working great. So I knew this would work well and I really like the checkered material because it blocks a little bit of sunlight and that's crucial for our little seedlings starting because we don't want direct sunlight burning those up. We want to have a little bit of shade cover and just enough light penetrating through to get those seeds starting and get them hardened off to the sunlight, but we don't wanna burn them up and cook them. So this is a perfect material to use for starting seeds and to continue to sprout all the way up until springtime hits. So if anyone's got any questions on this little seed sprouting box, definitely drop it in the comments below. We just took two pallets and stood them upright and we used the slots, the natural breaks inside the pallet and attached boards and they are perfect slots. So this is basically just like a giant oven that all of our seed slots go right into and they germinate and come out and we can transplant them right into the ground of our greenhouse. We were trying to fit three or four seed trays up on here and they were just sliding off and we were kind of compressing our compost down. So I don't want to do that. I wanted to build something where I could just have all of my seeds set up and trade right up and not have to worry about whether they're going to slide off or overcook. Our compost pile could get too hot, uh, 150 plus degrees, and then our seeds are too hot and it's cooking all that heat rising up into our seedlings and just not having a good environment for starting seeds. Now having this little box, which doesn't really reach above 80 degrees, that is perfect. We will be able to start all these and keep all of these very much alive all these heading collards so my basic thought process behind this box and my seed starting trays were basically i wanted to use that compost heat without burning my plants from all that hot compost because sitting on top of it it was getting too hot so being able to use the heat from compost by blowing it into this box and then passively pushing it out heating up our greenhouse in return also we're able to get steady temperatures and steady airflow so we're having a very good environment and this is working very well and this was just a prototype box i just built this out of some scrap material i had it only took me about half an hour to an hour to build this box and get everything set up and cut the tarp off so it was really not that much work this is going to save me a ton of work i can get seven eight trays in here easily and i can put stuff down on the bottom all of these bricks are holding heat they're physically warm they're holding heat from the sun and these bricks are warm from the compost blowing onto them also because our box was closed and it was a nice sealed box just passively pushing the heat out of the vent so being able to store all of that heat in the bricks i will be able to throw some seedlings down there also or possibly start some flats down there so i should be able to get eight to 12 trays in this little box out of two pallets. But like I said, this is just a prototype. So I want to build something a little better than this next season. This is what I'm gonna run with this season because this is a pretty good little box I've built. Takes up a little bit of room in here, but this is what I needed to get all of our plants started. Just wanted to share this little seed starting build with everyone. So this only takes me about 30 seconds at the most to unzip and zip it so I can pretty much have access right away to all of my seedlings and that's what I wanted. So I wanted to use the zipper from that old greenhouse in order to have quick and easy access to my seedlings and be able to vent also with a built-in window right there with a screen on it. So this was just one more easy, free DIY that I did with all the materials I had already and lots of people have pallets and extra wood so I thought I would share this so everybody can have a little idea of what they could build for free.